Hey guys, what's happening? So today I'm just going to show you a few tricks when it comes to uh, insulating. We're using uh, R20, which is for 6 inch walls type. Um, this is uh, R20 for steel stud on 24 inch centers. So uh, you see we have the, uh, we're using the steel stud. Uh, so the insulation has to go inside of the, uh, inside of the stud. Whereas on the wood it stops on either side. So it's a little bit bigger. Than, uh, than the other stuff, the fir wood, right? So, uh, there's the bags, there's uh, a top and bottom side to them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Olfa knife, and uh, if you see where the, <clears throat> there's the, the, the tab here, that's the top, and the bottom is obviously the other side. You see the difference? All right, so what you're gonna do, stand it up on its, on its rear end like so, Okay, so it's like that. That's gonna fall. <clears throat> and uh, just simply, just cut it from about just above halfway up the top. Okay, uh, go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, <clears throat> and then this bad boy will just rip open. <laughs> Okay, it's a little nice funky looking like that. So let me just set it up. I'll show you how, uh, what I do with it after that. Oh, actually here, hold on here. Uh, All right, so then you're gonna flip it over like this. And voila. Yeah, see that? And it flips up like this and it's standing up and you don't have to bend over to pick it up. It's already standing up. Plus, this bag now is a garbage bag for later. And so now there's only a really a couple things to, to note. Always put it in side the stud first and then pat it back. The less touch the better. It just has to come up above the channel here so that the top piece will come down and meet to it. So, uh, things to know when you're insulating. Uh, this right here, like if it's inside of the stud, this is a cold space and it can develop moisture, can gather in there and it'll be a cold spot, a freezing spot. So you wanna make sure it's just outside of the, of the stud and you're and you're laughing there okay so it goes into the bottom track and uh it'll just come and fluff over here uh so when you top, put your top piece on all right same thing all right same thing you're gonna you're gonna kind of uh, just weave it together sort of like this right so when you look back you can't even tell there's a there's a joint there <clears throat> that's uh, uh, see the stamps the stamps go on the outside so if the inspector comes along he wants to see that uh, stamp all right if it's inspected make sure the stamps are out if it's not being inspected it doesn't even matter but uh, if it is then make sure the guy can see the stamps so you never use a tape measure when you're when you're insulating all you do is you go up to the, the piece that you need to cut with your knife Right, just line it up and make your mark where you, you gotta cut it and cut it. Simple as that. No tape measure. You know you're gonna need more than one, so um, you just uh, all, all the ones up that side will be the same. So <clears throat> just freehand it. Just need a little bit more blade here, but yeah, just freehand it. Just like that. The R20 will um, take a couple of, uh, scores because it's thick as it's stuff. It's really thick stuff. So, uh, and then the cut side. All right, and this is important too. We're lucky here because it has two flanges, like inside parts. But say it was a flat, like a hard, uh, a hard side into the sock like this, the cut side will always go in, so that it's so that it's hidden. <clears throat> 
these ones are pretty easy. They got the flange on both sides, so it's simple. Yeah, just pull it out so it's tight to the stud. Voila. Okay, and same with the top piece, you just put it in, cut it. Don't don't ever have your tape measure out when you're insulating it. You don't need to. So okay, so we know how to cut it. We know that the stamps have to face out. We know that we have to stitch, we can stitch this together nice and neat, the joints. Then fluff it up around the channel. And uh, you're good to go. Put it into the flange. Into the flange and then push press it in to the hard side here. The less touches the better. And you continue all the way up. Make your cuts as you go. <clears throat> you can uh, when you're trying to do up higher pieces too, you can grab like a stick and put it in. You know, uh, if you don't have a lift or benches or whatever at the time, uh, you can do a third row so you get your 12 footers on just by using like a piece of channel or something just to reach up with. So it's pretty simple. Okay, well that's your insulating tips for the day. Uh, you guys will be pros in no time. Insulating is so easy. Uh, just make it nice and neat. All right, this is Chris. Bye for now. Chris Conkle Vlogs, master construction, be an industry leader. Be sure to download TubeBuddy, a YouTube growth tool that's free to download. The link is in the description.